Okay, so um, this really is uh, a kind of um, extra, right? This is like kind of where you can go from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep increasing the specificity of the behavior. Um, and we're going to use a kind of new method. We'll call it a spawn method. So that any time that the, uh, the ball, as it gets smaller and smaller, if it reaches a certain threshold, it gets removed, and then a new one is created so that the process can continue. Right? So again, we talked about behavior and what it is. And really, if you're thinking about how you can develop behavior, some approaches you can take to it, you can start to think about um, uh, increasing the behaviors within your sketch through the lens of like triggers or specific interactions or actions that are um, undertaken, right? So in this case, we're going to take, um, we've already worked with color. Um, we're going to use the uh, conditional statement that says if a ball is of a certain size, too small, then we're going to, uh, it's going to die uh, in quotes, and then we're going to spawn a new one. All right, so let's go ahead and add that last little um, uh, method into our ball class. So I'm going to save this as my working version of exercise 7. All right, and after the collide, we're going to have another method called spawn. All right, so go ahead and start the uh, the basic method construction like we've been doing before by um, saying here that we're going to have void spawn. Open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly brackets close curly brackets, all right? And in the spawn, um, we're going to do a test, right? Test if the size, we'll call it radius because that's what it is, is too small. If it is, we're going to remove the ball from the world and instantiate a new ball. All right. So the first is going to be pretty easy. If the radius of the current ball is less than a value, let's say 5. If it's less than 5, open curly brackets. All right. Remove the ball from the world. How do we do that? Well, we have to say my world dot sports bag dot remove, and then we're going to say, because we're internal to the class, this. The array list will know to take the one that this object is out of the array list, right? So we use this keyword, this, to mean the one that um, uh, kind of at the level of the scope where we are now, which is the object. So we're going to remove this object from the array list, and then we just instantiate a new ball. Right, this is going to be uh, just like we did before. The, the type is ball, new ball, right? Or let's say even better, spawn ball equals new capital B ball. We have to give it uh, some inputs, right? So I'm going to take the same ones that I had here and, and use them here. So a random position, a random speed, and a random size. The texture. All right. Then we have to just add the new ball to the array list, which is actually the world. All right. So then we say my world dot sports bag dot add spawn ball. All right. That looks good. And so if we hit run, oh, what do we have to do? Make sure we use our method inside the update. All right. So look in here for new ones that come in as blue.
This is less than five. Hmm. We're using it here. Make a new one. All right, so my balls are getting small, but they're not uh, dying whenever they're too small. Aha, because we're not redefining the radius, so we're only using that to um, redefine the rendering property, so we need to use this function here. If radius minus C count is less than five, there we go. So they get too small and then some new larger ones are being spawned up here. Let's make this smaller and let's increase our change in color. There we have it. So now our world has is kind of consistent in time relative to when we run the sketch, but the objects are dying and respawning whenever a specific condition is met. So now we have relationships between the objects and the environment, which is the extents of this display window. We have relationships between each object and all the other objects, so that's the collision. Then we have a relationship of the object relative to time. Right, and the specific conditions of the object's properties. Right, if it gets too small, um, remove it and then add a new one. Right, so the world is con consistent through time, and the objects are changing in a more dynamic way. 